Welcome back to Hug on the Internet. Okay, so tonight rant is vid by BuzzFeed Celeb and it's called Renee Rap Reads Thirst Tweets. <laughs> Let's see how that one plays out. But yeah. I don't know much about this, about this woman. I've heard, I've heard her name out there, but like, I don't know much. But yeah, I can imagine she gives I heard a lot of guys thirsting over her. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see. How this, let's see how this one plays out. Let's see if it's gonna be this. If it's gonna be like, what as one of my favorite thirst tweet reaction videos or not? Let's see. So that's what I do about to get to this reaction. You gotta love Twitter, though, bro. I resonate with that heavily. I do feel like I'm pretty baby. No, I can't. I like it. This is nice. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Renee Rapp, and I'm here with BuzzFeed to read my thirst tweets. Not mine, other people's. To me. Although I do have thirst tweets at other people. Let's see how this one plays out. <laughs> the first one says, spoke to Renee Rapp for a few minutes. It also says mins. Okay. And Gurley had me blushing and twirling my hair like a teenager again. Thank you. I'm glad you felt that way. <laughs> the second one that says... Was <laughs> Everyone is so cute. Girls don't want boyfriends. They want Renee Rapp. I agree. Even the straight girls. Sometimes baby girl is a 23-year-old woman named Renee Rapp. I do feel like I'm pretty baby. This is gonna make me sound crazy, but I'll be like, uh, baby, I'm gonna get to nap. I'll be like, baby, it's done for the day. Or if I'm like talking to my girlfriend or some somebody, I'll be like, ugh, mommy's had enough. Like, <laughs> take mommy home. Next one says, hot girls love Renee Rapp and tummies that hurt. That's just a, that's a fact. That's in the, the dictionary, the Bible, the source, whatever y'all got, that's where that is. And the next one says, I think the most toxic thing about me is that I have convinced myself that if I met Renee Rapp, I could get her to fall in love with me. I actually see this a lot. I don't think that's toxic. I think that's, I think that's confidence. I think that's believing in yourself. I think that's this is very having tame. drive and being a hardworking woman. So go for it. The YouTube Premium is ad-free YouTube and ad-free videos on the YouTube Kids app. Piss Massive chokehold that Renee Rapp has on me. Cry, cry. Crying emojis. Stop being so funny and flirty, girl. No. <laughs> I can't. I love to flirt. I love to flirt. It's At least I'm not the only one. the world spinning. Everybody needs a little excitement. A little ha-ha. <laughs> the next one says, at Renee Rapp is mother. Of the mother of the mother who is mothering the mother. I believe you've confused what? me for Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Though I appreciate it. Thank you, that's very Just take the compliment. It's actually super hard for me to like read Renee. and understand. The next one says, Renee Rapp is actually going to bring lesbians and bisexuals together. She will end the civil war just by existing and being sexy. <laughs> that one's funny. This is very funny. <laughs> I feel like, look, the lesbians and bisexuals, we're always together, man. I know that sometimes there's flack. I get it. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, what an honor it would be, truly. I feel like even as someone who is queer and is bisexual, I constantly am seeking for, like, other gay people's approval. Like, my whole life. Especially right now. I'm, like, wondering if anybody in the room is gay and if they are funny and cute. Yeah, that's all I do. Okay, the next one says, Renee Rapp looked me in the eyes and called me honey. I wish I could breathe. And then there's a lot of, like, emojis. When I first, like, started Bruh. making friends and, like, working and, you know, doing my thing. And I'd be, like, to somebody who's, like, 36, I'd be like, oh, my God, hi, baby, how are you? Just because that's, like, how you, that's how you speak to each other in, in the South and in North Carolina specifically. At least it was where I grew up. And then it actually became a tactic because I can also, like, I like using it in situations that are, like, very, like, like businessy. Very like, serious people in power, situations. To be honest, like, it could be some, like, grown-ass man, and I'll be like, 
hi baby how are you you know and they'll just crumble immediately which i use to my advantage and i happily will do so the rest of my life the next one says i think i'm seriously in love with renee rap i need her so bad prove it prove it then renee rap is making me feel things i didn't know i could feel what are those things tweet them Okay, the way I'm absolutely feral for Renee Rapp. I love the word feral. We were Not just talking feral. about how it's a feral girl summer, and um, that's what we're working with. So if you feel the need to be feral, act on it. Do it. The feminine urge to bark aggressively every time Renee Rapp comes on screen. Not start barking. <laughs> start uh -huh. barking like a dog. <laughs> Renee, it sounds like you should put a collar lead on him. <laughs> Tell him bark. Don't that whiff. <laughs> Funny enough, I did that to somebody. That was my funny. <laughs> That's too funny. Weth, weth. <laughs> I'm dead. It was if it continue. That tweet is tame, but I don't know about yeah, that, one. that gave me a bit of a laugh. A little different to me. The barking goes into kind of a different territory, which I think is great. It's not necessarily my thing. But the barking is like a different kind of, different kind of thing. Very sexual. Oh. Uh, the next one says, no offense, but I would let Renee Rapp's Regina bully me. I like a little mean-spirited thing like that. I think it's cute. I've always been into the whole, like, bullying is flirting, flirting is bullying. Um, oh. And I actually don't care where that comes from. I'm okay, I can't do that. I need to work on. I really don't care. I have fun with it. And I think it's interesting. Oh, well, this is a friend of mine. This is from Zara Larson. She said, I just love Renee Rapp, like, in parentheses, me. I love you. Done. I love you too. Renee Rapp could drop kick me straight into hell and I'd thank her. I played so being drop and kicked. I was a bully. And I could do okay, that. Okay, now those are the tweets we're talking let about. Renee Rapp ruin my life. I'm Renee Rapp and I'm ruining my own life. Women I would let humiliate. Okay, well, I think this should be women, but I hear you. Women I would let humiliate and kick me. None, because I know my worth and we must love ourselves. Two, Renee Rapp. <laughs> I resonate with that heavily. I love myself, but there are women that I would let ruin my life. This next one says, Renee Rapp is so hot, I would let her choke me, no joke. <laughs> now, me now, th now, those are like the typical, those tweets talk about, so I want this person to choke me, kick me, hit me. Bro. Twitter's just showing that some people are just kinky bastards, I can't. And they call me the kinky one, bro. Well, that being said, I'll happily choke some people, though. <laughs> Is there we continue? I do that, but thank you. Renee Rapp, rail me. <laughs> Respectfully. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. I, look, I get it. Like, I'm reading these tweets and I'm like, would I say this to somebody? Hell yeah. So thank you. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Gay rights. Okay. I am a whore, a slut, and a hoe for Renee Rapp. Like, I really am. What the f*** is she doing to the gays? Well, again, I'm just seeking gay approval. <laughs> That's what I wake up and I do. I, too, am a whore, a slut, and a hoe. So thank you. Oh, this is very sweet. I just want to remind everyone of the perfection that is Renee Rapp. I would let her ooh, buy me, sell me, wedgie me, throw me off the building, or literally anything she wanted. Bro. <laughs> I'm not very into the whole, like, owning of, like, a person. Like, I'm a pretty, like, free world kind of girl. So there's a lot of things in here I wouldn't do. Absolutely no shame. I am just a whole for Renee Rapp. <laughs> you should think about that. She's just speechless. Well, this was lovely and very sweet. And I feel very flattered. And I also like that we're being so bold. I like this trend of like, let's just say what we mean. You know, like, I think you're hot. Kiss me. Okay. <sighs> I like it. This was nice. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. And thank you for... I thought I was like... <laughs> now, the tweets were too, uh, were too tame in the beginning, but at least it weren't like the Daniel Radcliffe one. Like, bruh. <laughs> But nah, it got... Nah, I had to end just as, just as it was building up. Just as it was getting good. But yeah, it's all good. It's fine. <laughs> now that ones that, that tweet, you, uh, you can do anything you want to me. <laughs> them ones. <laughs> them ones are kind of funny, bro. Imagine, I, imagine reading these those tweets yourself. <laughs> about you, bro. 
Now the Tom Ellis one's still up there. Still up there. This one's okay though. Still good though. And it's right at the comments I'm saying right now. Someone commented. I love that she's so unhinged that she didn't flinch not one not one. It was just a regular Thursday for her. Yeah, exactly. She's just so unfazed by them, but I mean, it does kind of come to the territory, isn't it? You get hate online, then you get uh, people thirsting over you online. <laughs> now that reminds me, I got a DM from somebody. About, I don't know how long ago this was, about a year ago, two years ago. It, uh, it was like, what did I say? It said something like, oh, you're so sexy, I want your pussy. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm don't, I'm don't, I'm not about that. <laughs> I'm not about that, but <laughs> that you cannot have. The crown jewels, yeah, but my bestie, no. Just, no. No, I don't do the bad way. <laughs> that one made me laugh, though. Someone commented that I have nice energy. I was like, thanks. No one ever said that to me before. <laughs> Anyways, let me continue. Someone commented, I love how she said my girlfriend and then and panicked for a second, like, like oh, shit, I, I, have I, I said that a lot before she... I'm dead. Not her, not her scanning room to see if any of the uh, production staff are quit and giving her the approval she's seeking. <laughs> love to see it. <laughs> Someone quoted, I, "I love that she that she just em that she just embraced and accepted everyone's kink." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we can't it's like a kink shame because some people's kinks I hear about, and I'm just like, oh no, just nah. I mean, I mean, different strokes from folks, innit? I, just because there's some things that I would not do and I'm not into doesn't mean that someone else is not into it. Like, bruh. <laughs> that's all right, though. Interesting bit, though, but yeah, I'm head out. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post if whenever I feel like it, and I'll see you next one. Bye. <laughs>